interesting look. Hey little peach readers, welcome back to a new video. We're back in the beautiful island of, Sa oh wow. I was about to say we're back in the beautiful island of Solani. I don't know if I've just been blind this whole time, but is that volcano looking a little, does it always do that? It looks kind of intense to me. It's very beautiful to be fair. It looks right absolutely gorgeous, but it looks more active than usual, which ain't great when our home is like here. Like if that was like real life, you would not really want your home here. I'm just putting it out there. We are back with the little Solani gang. We've got Sage doing a little bit. Oh, she was doing some cooking. Everyone's kind of equally concerned about the volcano is the vibe I'm getting. Because they're all just stood there like, that volcano, sh oh, she's so beautiful, isn't she? She's like, that volcano sure looks worrying. Uh, You just stood there like, I remember the last volcano eruption and it wasn't pretty. And where's Ari at? Oh, hi, little Kai. Little Kai has just come toddling through to come in and join in on the action. I think we need some um son and daddy time today for sure. He's chatting away like no one's business. He's level four. At what age is he at? That's Yuda. Oh, wow, he's, he's, a really similar age to Kinai. I kind of forgot that. So I feel like we might have to age him up in today's episode too. Yeah, everyone's super worried about the volcano. Like, everyone's just stood around feeling concerned. I don't know if Sage can, like, monitor it or what. I don't know. But these guys are still working on their joint beach life satisfaction. I don't think I've ever had two sims that have, like, both been doing the same aspiration together at the same time. I think that's really cute. And we've kind of never had it before, so I like that they're both doing this together. It's kind of late, Sage. I feel like we should be reading Kai to sleep right now. Is he hungry or anything? He's just tired, bless him. Let's read him to sleep, please. Yeah, I think this is adorable. You guys pointed me in the direction. <laughs> Sorry, you to be staring at your butt there. But you pointed me in the direction of, uh, oh, what's just happened? You got pooped on. Oh, a seagull hit you while you were beachcombing. Not good. You guys pointed me in the direction of a really cool um, update for, well, there's two. There's a mod that makes mermaids more interesting. And there's also a mod that changes the aspiration for mermaids. But what I was thinking is that because these guys are already like midway through the aspiration, I may save that for any future children of them. I would also like to add a twist to this. I one of the aspirations for it was a more there's a like an aerial kind of mermaid one. I don't I can't remember what the middle one was, but there was another one that was like ooh ooh you found something. There was another one that was like a more sireny aspiration, and I thought it would be quite cool to kind of add in a little cheeky bit of law that if two mermaids have a baby together, there is a percentage chance they could have a siren, and that could happen to these guys. Let me know. It's not like they're still pretty much only just into their young adult. Hood. I don't think they're really ready for uh, babies or anything. That is a long young adulthood. Jeez, I might have to shorten that down a little bit. Sage isn't even into adulthood yet. Crazy times. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of that. I think it could be an interesting little twist. And I kind of want to play as a mean mermaid. Like a really badass mermaid. I think that would be quite fun. So all these guys do their thing. It's annoying that they don't beach crawl for very long. Like just do it for ages, okay? I just want you to beach crawl for a couple of hours. Don't just find one thing and then give up. That ain't gonna help your aspiration, is it? What they go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do my pitchy shoutouts for the day. So if you guys want to be included in this, to both myself and the Calier Club, I will grab your pictures and give you guys a little feature if you've bought the Clash of Peachy merch. So, today's little peacherinos are, we've got Crampton Alexis with the Peach Squad hoodie. We have got uh, Lily the Brown Puppy on Instagram with the Peach Squad hoodie as well. We have got Laro, Laros Arbelde. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. And the Peach Squad hoodie as well. We've got Kay Devani in the Peach Arenas t-shirt. And we've got Old Queso in the Peach Squad hoodie as well. Oh no, it's both, it's both. That's so cool. Thank you guys so, so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the shout out and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Ari is having a bad time, guys. The seagulls are pooping on her and they're also stealing her shells. So I'm kind of feeling a little bit sad for her right now. Oh, and I've been telling Paul Yuda to do it for trash this whole time. He's got zero out of 10. I should be doing it for shells. Oh, I'm so sorry, Yuda. But you guys have anything to wake up for though because you're not really contributing to the household at the moment i'm just saying um we've got the little babbleroo all tucked up in bed he looks like he's gonna be a, such a cute child i cannot wait when princess is running around like a crazy cat you're an elder now princess please be careful okay please be careful with the running around because you're not quite as young as you used to be and i think i'll get them some shelves for their room so everything that they beachcomb and just everything they do as like part of this uh, aspiration we can kind of put on the wall i think that would be really cute okay so while you guys Sleep. I'll go ahead and pop some stuff. Ooh, what's that? What? What, what is that? Because I can't even click it. It's like a broken picture or something. Okay, that's super, super weird. Fingers of Solani. Ooh, you have a few of them. Oh my god. 
Oh, wow, okay, Ari sucks at combing the beaches, but you're just really good at it. Captain Fishbones, okay, disturbing. And some dead fish, okay, let's get rid of those. Eyes of Solani as well. Actually, you know what, I've, I've got so many of these red ones. You actually can sell them for $40 each. I feel like low-key, these guys could actually make a little bit of a living on selling seashells. I'm just saying. Maybe keep one individual one of each type and then all the duplicates we can just sell. Like, look how many of those I've got. What? Sell those? Oh, if you find the mermaid conch shell, 200 simoleons. Okay, you guys are definitely earning your keep now. I take back everything that I said. And oh my gosh, please stop killing the fish in your adventure. You hate killing fish. What is wrong with you? Okay, so because I want to do the whole daddy, son, like... Find a job. What? You already have a job. What is it talking about? You got six vacay days. Why can't I take a vacation day? <gasps> I can consult on global policy. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Oh People come to Sage for information <laughs> about what to do about I like pollution, that. global warming, all sorts. This is so cool. <gasps> Select a global policy. Oh my gosh, I want to do all of them. Green energy, energy curfew, littering fines, water purification. I think since we're in Sulani and we're seeing the damaging impacts of over uh, overfishing. Let's do... <gasps> fishing is prohibited between 12 and 8 p.m. Except from during approved events. Sims caught fishing illegally could be fined. Oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Green energy rebate. Policy effect. Bills are lower for all households, but there may be power outages at peak nighttime hours. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna manage over fishing because I think it will make Ari and Yuda happy because they really hate it when people fish. And why can't I take a vacation day? I don't know why she's not able to take one when she's got work in four hours time. Oh, she's feeling cooped up as well. Well, uh, maybe you guys will have to get like breakfast together instead. I'm not sure quite how much little Babaroo is gonna like that because it's early. <sighs> okay, let's go ahead and do some uh, toilet training for him. <gasps> we got the spirits here again, you guys. You can hear them. The shaking his maracas. Oh my gosh, maybe it's Macy coming to come and check in. You're in the wrong room though, Macy. Although also she'd be like, huh, maybe I shouldn't be in this room because there's two people sleeping here at the same time. I kind of want to change Ari's hair this episode as well. Remind me, we might have a look at that. Okay, so little Babaroo is uh, doing his little toilet training. Let me have a little quick check on all your skills, little buddy. Communication's really good. You need to work on your thinking, though. Yeah, definitely needs to do a little bit of work on thinking. Maybe Makoa can help out with that today. And I know you're hungry. We're meeting Daddy Bear for lunch, okay? Breakfast, even. Two hours to work, though. <gasps> Why can't I take a vacation day? I have six available. What is going on? Princess has come to check on progress as well. She's impressed. She's like, well done. But it looks kind of gross there, but well done anyway. Okay, and I guess we'll just get him some breakfast and wait until this evening because the game won't let me call in a sick day. It's super annoying. Oh wait, I could totally work from home. I forgot I could do that. So it can be a daddy and daughter, a daddy and son, sorry, play day. Okay, that's made me really happy. Also, she's feeling proud from mentoring. Look at that little bundle of joy. All hopes from the future lie with them and the future looks bright. We know our little Baba. She knows little Babaru will care and his generation is going to care about the environment more. And she's excited about that because she is into the whole uh, conservation life. He's going to be a next little mini Greta. And while he's eating, I can check on the progress of my new conservation policy. And also, if I pop this down, she can bring this with her. This is the joy of working from home. How do I prepare a research grant, though? That's the next thing that she needs to do. <gasps> Managing the overfishing is 20% complete. Yes. Oh, he's just, he's just eating his drink on the floor. <gasps> oh, she's straight on on it telling him off. Well done, Sage. Okay, I, I literally cannot find a grant application. People online say it's in your inventory, but it's not in mine, so that is super annoying. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up Kai. And let's go have some Kai and Daddy Bear time. And I've just realized I've got a load of makeup above my eye from when I sprayed my face with setting spray. Good job, Claire. Okay, so we're gonna go to this cute little beach area here. Hopefully there's some place to get food. McCoy's still got his scarf on. <laughs> But I want cute times, especially if he's gonna be aging up into a child. We need some cute toddler action while we still can. Especially because look how freaking cute. Look how cute he looks toddling on over. So adorable. And I'm really hoping that you guys are right on the wild glitch there. Because Connor had the wild trait. He spent his whole life walking like a toddler. Even though he wasn't actually a toddler. So I'm hoping that does get... Oh, these guys rest. Oh my gosh. Cuteness. Cuteness scenes right here. I'm hoping that gets fixed before... Uh, I think... I hope it has been fixed. Or else we're going to have the same issue with Kai. But honestly, I kind of feel like it has. So I'm not too worried. Look at her just watching being all like... Well, ain't this just wholesome? Kind of didn't think things 
Kittens were gonna turn out wholesome based on how troublesome- Oh, look at how clear it will be as well. How troublesome they were a little while ago. But I feel like we're back on the track to wholesomeness right now. Things were definitely pretty unwholesome for a while, but we're back. We're back on schedule, guys. And oh, I guess we won't be able to use a lilac though, because people have stolen them all already. Great. And look, no one be fishing because we banned it. And I'm gonna get uh, Makoa to help him with some of his basic needs in the water. As, like, obviously, obviously as little Sulanians. Sulanians? Oh. They need to do their flashcards in the water just because that's the more cute and wholesome way of doing it. And oh my gosh, what a beautiful day. Never know the volcano was dangerously fluffy right now. And he's at thinking level two. Good job, Gangalang. Good job, boys. Good job, boys. Is this guy swimming in a suit over here? Has he got like a full suit jacket on? Yeah, he does. Okay, interesting. Oh, wow, she's good. Oh, wow, look at her beach bod body and her beach bod walk. Don't you dare sit on my PC, yeah. though. No, you are not. No, oh my gosh, uh, excuse me, but can you get off my PC right now? How rude, how rude, can you imagine just coming and sitting on somebody else's PC? I'm actually shook right now. I am actually so shook right now. She's like, yeah, can you not do that? That's my PC. It actually has secrets, like not secrets, but like private information from my job. And are we just leaving the toddler? He's obsessed with his dad. It's so freaking cute. Some of my oh, sims no, just no, don't no, seem overly uh, bothered. <laughs> like he likes wrestling. Overly bothered like about their um, kids. But luckily these guys are pretty, pretty into their kids. That's nice. And I also like how, ooh, don't, I don't like that. That's disgusting. Is there a bin somewhere? Just like, just like that. But I like how even though they're all together, she's kind of like, because she obviously gets a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with them. So she's kind of like there, but also sort of letting them get on with it themselves, which I think is really nice. I feel like you potentially uh, need to put some sunburn protection on, please. She could be like, oh, Makara, please can you help me put some of this on my back? But she's not. She's leaving uh, father and son together to do their thing, which is sweet. Just don't burn your back because of that, okay? Jo job is kind of been a disaster today, but it's not my fault I couldn't get a vacation day, okay? Oh my gosh, he actually loves Makoa more than Sage right now. Probably though, because Sage told him off this morning for throwing his food on the floor. And to me, Sage seems to have the skin, like tone and color. They probably ain't gonna catch a ton. Like, I don't feel like she's gonna tan particularly well, but let's just see how it goes. Why have you got any, why have you got an engagement ring on? You have an engagement ring on. Is there something you guys aren't telling me? No, you guys weren't engaged, no. I don't know why she's got an engagement ring on. Interesting, interesting look. And oh my gosh, look at his movement. He's so good now. Oh, and he's stripped off as well. It's like, it's obviously, you know, when they're babies, like, it's not a big deal. Like, there's nothing to see anyway. It's just like a little kid. So he's just roaming around naked on the beach. <laughs> oh, and Makoa's even helping him with the potty, potty training now. Cute wholesomeness all around. These guys do still have like 50% love. But they're definitely taking things real slow. Oh my gosh, Sage is such a great butt. Uh, because I've not seen anything kind of, any changes in that. They've not, why can't you pee? She can't use the bathroom. I don't understand why. Okay, she's using it now. There you go. Oh, look at that. I know I've noticed that before, but I keep forgetting it. It's like, is it Moana? They've, they've taken things really slow, which I think is sensible when there's a child involved. And if they do anything like autonomously, I will let them, but nothing has happened yet. So I'm kind of just letting it do its thing. Oh, and naked Kai is now, now trashing the statues. <laughs> I swear. Oh, I feel that Makoa is ambitious. I did not know that. I th I love that both the like toddlers I currently have. Well, Kana Kana is not one anymore. But they're both kind of wild. I don't. But I don't know. I kind of like it. I kind of like that. I'm gonna get him to play in the ocean. They're here to keep an eye on him. In fact, why don't you play in the ocean here so you're a little bit closer to your parents? I just feel like it's a little bit safer to do it that way. I don't know why he's taking his clothes off this whole time. I can literally see his clothes still there, but the game's still blurring him. Look how cute. What an absolute little baby playing in the water. What an awesome place to grow up as well. Let's go. This woman's just strolled over in the biggest shoes I have ever seen. In all my time, but little Kai is getting a little bit tired right now. Should I invite him to come back for some food? They have had a nice day together. Maybe I should. Also, these guys have had absolutely no time to like talk to each other because like literally Sage has just been like, spend time with your son. I won't get involved. I'll let you guys do your thing. Look, even in the loading screen, he's thinking about his dad. <laughs> when I get home to him, is he cleaning the grill? Oh! What absolute babe? What an absolute babe. Bedtime story, please. Yes, cute scenes. Got a sweet tan. Are you joking me? Oh, maybe she does look a bit browner. To me, she just looks pink, bless her. She just kind of looks a little bit pink. Oh, oh. oh my gosh. Seb's throwing a charity benefit. I don't know why he's back in 
Creekside Smooth? Is that in Brindlesford Bay? I'm assuming it's probably something to do with injured veterans. You know, he has a social life and things he likes to do in his life outside of Stranger Stories, especially now that he's got Zendaya back. I think we should totally go. I wonder if um, Yuda and Ari mind looking after... I mean, he's already read and tucked into bed. It's, it's a pretty easy job. But maybe we can go over and support the charity benefit. Also, I've never done this before. But it's cute um, brother and sister times too. I hope he's invited Summer as well. Some tips for a successful event. Well, I didn't set the event up. Okay, we'll get some drinks in and we'll also definitely order a donation. Uh, order a donation, give a donation. And I don't know how much these guys have really spoke. It would actually be good to get the brothers to know each other. Oh, is that Summer? Yay, Summer's here as well. That's good. He's actually going to get to know all of like the immediate family tonight, which is kind of cute. Oh, is Summer working here? Oh, she's helping out. Summer's catering. What up, Sir Queen? They don't really know Makoa, so I'm gonna talk him up to both of them. Just so that, you know. Because they're, to them, it's still kind of like, oh, this is the guy that broke up your relationship. Awkward. So she needs to at least be like, look, what's in the past in the past? This is the father of my child. He's a really good dad. So, you know, we need to try and try and push that narrative. Also, this outfit still has the long hair. So I need to change this outfit into something that has her current hair. There we go. That's better. Okay, Summer seems impressed. Summer's come over to chit chat with them. So that's nice. Okay, both of them. Makoa is great. I'm glad I got to know him. So Summer likes him, which is really nice. Uh, and also Makoa says, I spoke with Sebastian and I found it quite interesting. You can just call him Seb. It's fine. We all do. Okay, it's probably best to let Seb go ahead and schmooze because there's celebrities here and everything. So I still feel like you should be trying to get some cash from them. I bet they've all come because Summer's here and Summer's like, I'm even helping Kate in this event. You guys should all come. So I'm sure Seb's going to get loads of donations. So these guys can kind of get a little bit of like private, private chit chat some time together. And I like, I'm kind of just leaving them and seeing what happens. She's filling up some of her needs and stuff here, which is pretty good. Summer's just like floating around like an actual princess. Okay, awkward Summer. Oh, and you're watching horse riding in front of us. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. We'll just uh, go and grab a drink, I guess then. Oh, Cody's come as well. Cody has come along, not in his vampire form, which is always nice. But that scar is still there. I guess she has double teeth, so you know. <gasps> Violet's here as well. Oh, and the entertainment's arrived. It's the ghost of Noelle, who's flirty. And it's kind of loud and crazy down there. So I've got the two of them just, there's like these cute benches like looking up. Where where are we? What neighborhood am I in? Why don't I know what neighborhood this is? I don't think it is the super cold neighborhood. Oh, it, although it is still cool. So it's a good job we kept Makoa's scarf on. And I'm just kind of leaving them just to see sort of what they do on their own. He's so freaking cute. Just cause I'm kind of intrigued to know like how they take things if I don't do anything. He's talking about where he's living at the mark. moment, I don't really even know right now. The thing is, they're, they're both in like really happy, like energized oh, moods. It's kind of gross. Wow. Well. <laughs> wow. But neither of them are in like flirty moods or anything. This benefit ends in 17 minutes as well. I mean, sweet, but they honestly, it is a slow burn with these two. Like the slowest of all slow burns. But I don't know. I'm kind of here for that. <laughs> oh, Summer's following us again. Summer, it was a time. Tiny bit of space, okay? We spent the whole day. So. Oh, she actually is. She stopped. Oh, but Noelle, the ghost of Noelle is here instead. We've spent the whole day, like, making Bring sure that we shower. spend father-son oh, time honey. instead of, like, Makoa and Sage time. So I'm just like, oh, give them a break, okay? Oh, give two. them a chance, oh, please. She's getting a bit tired, though. Oh, my gosh. It's <laughs> when you I click it. it, oh, my gosh, it's not really dark. Uh, she does want to, like, whisper sweet nothing <laughs> and, like, tickle him <laughs> And stuff. But they're just like, they're almost like they're being almost too sweet. Too sweet with each other. It's like 4 a.m. as well. This is gonna be the slowest burn relationship in the whole world. Literally in the whole world. I think I'm gonna call it a day now, Makoa. I'm sorry, but we've got like a little Kai at home and you'll see each other again. Oh, she needs to do something creative. She's missing being creative. You'll see each other again because we've got the birthday party too. I'm just saying. So I'm gonna get her to head home. Slow burn. Literally burns. It burns. It's so slow. Hey, babes, probably should go get yourself to bed. And Kai's at that kind of toddler age where he can actually do stuff himself. Like, he can get up and go to the toilet himself in the morning. And he's off to go and play blocks by himself. Like, he can kind of entertain himself somewhat. That's pretty good. Sage's hydration is low. She wants to go and take a shower. Nah, -uh -uh. that is not how we uh, increase our hydration as mermaids. Come on, guys, get with it. You go into the water and you mermaid yourself up with the turtles. 
Come and swim with the turtles, okay? Where's my little teeny tiny mermaids? Here's one. Where's the other? Okay, I, I can see one mermaid. Oh, yes, mermaiding. Mermaiding hard. Okay, both merms are here. Both the merms are around swimming with the turtles. Cuteness. I really want a siren baby now. I want one so bad. <laughs> I want him even to like him or her to even like look kind of mean like a siren. I just think it'll be really cool. And is my walking on the water glitch fixed? Are they no longer JC? Oh my gosh, they're swimming. They're swimming and I can't see any walking on the water. Oh my gosh, finally it's fixed. You guys are so close to banging heads there. Oh, my mermaids are real. They're real mermaids now. They're not like, hoo, 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 hoo. oh my gosh. I, you guys swim very close together. I kind of miss it. I'm not going to lie, but it was really, really annoying. And let me see if I get the kiss. Kiss in water. Yay! I barely ever get it. So when I'm due, I'm like, you guys kiss in the water. Kiss, kiss. Move your little mermaid tails together and do water kisses right now. Oh, wait, wait. I want to see it. I want to see it. You started before I got chance. Oh my gosh. They're so freaking cute. Love it. Look at her arms around him. Oh my gosh. Okay. Intense, but oh, I love it so much. So freaking cute. You guys haven't seen your little merm friends in a while. Why don't you guys call them over and you can have like cute merm times together. Oh, I wonder if she's... Where are they? Why can't I invite them? I don't know where they are. Weird. You guys are gonna have to swim your little butts over soon though because... Sage is going to work, so I kind of need you guys back here. Oh my gosh, Ari must have been grilling because she's on the next stage of beach life. Okay, Mako, you need to... Mako, mm -hmm. you, you need to uh, speed up. You do some grilling. And uh, now you need to explore the beach cave and discover buried treasure. Ooh. <gasps> you can also purchase the treasure tool, which will allow you to free dive for treasure. Oh my gosh, is there anywhere to swim deeply here? I need to find a red boy in order to swim deeply. I don't think you can do it from your home. <gasps> Spirits! Spirits, how do I interact with them? Oh, there's one right here. Oh my gosh, commune with them, quick, Yuda. And oh my gosh, can people stop being in our house? Makoa's here, what? Makoa out of nowhere, coming to hang out with, uh, where is everyone? Where is everyone? Makoa's like literally right here. And Sage is back home. Oh, the spirits went. Oh, guys, I think we might be just, oh, he's getting angry though. He's getting angry, he's tired. But I think we, oh. We were so close to getting his skill up another one, but he's pretty sleepy. So why don't you ask for sleepy time from Dad Plus? No, oh, you're gonna sleepy time me, Dad. You ain't going nowhere. Here you go. Now you're asleep. Four, two, four, two, three. I think he's doing pretty good. Like, no toddler's gonna... Or not all toddlers should have everything maxed, you know? We can't all be, like, little faithykins. Okay, so it's Saturday. So I think I'm gonna do this little bun's birthday today. Eight days left. I believe it's the end of the day. It'll be, like, seven days. I know it's faster than I originally wanted it to be, but I need Kanai and Kenai to stay at like... Kai and Kenai, wow. To stay at like the same age because they kind of like... I want them to stay cute friends. I just think it would be really adorable. Oh, yay! One of the little mermaids has come to swim with them as well. Look at this with their beautiful... Beautiful mermaid tail, gorgeous. Okay, I'm glad we've at least found them because I've not seen those guys in ages and it wouldn't let me invite them earlier. So I'm glad they've got a bit of chance to hang out with them now. Kai is playing on the sand, watching the mermaids, probably just thinking, oh, this is normal. Everyone yeah, has tails. Please. I'm afraid you don't have a tail actually, Kai. But you found yourself a little shell. And I think it's time we go ahead and get birthday plans in order. So we'll invite round, obviously, Makos. I think we see if Seiji and Summer want to come as well. We don't really know Seiji very well. Might want to invite over friend O'Bray because those guys are pretty close. Seb and his girlfriend. And also Akira for Macy. And I kind of feel like that's everyone. Actually, maybe we could invite around Willow. And I can't invite around Kenai. But I'll cheat him over. It's okay. And I'll get Yuda to grill us some foodies. Look at this. Imagination skill level three. He's done such a good job with his skills today. I'm so impressed. Oh, wow. Makoa is here first. Being like, oh, I need to help prep. Prep for us then. He's playing in the toilet. Okay, yeah, please, please go deal with that. <laughs> Sage is gonna make some kava because this is still an island party, right? Ari probably will, will like rein in the mermaid stuff now if I was you. <gasps> and he's on the next bit of his uh, aspiration as well, so that's awesome. Did you cook the foodies? Yeah, you did. Let's sling those on the table too. Oh, he also discovered buried treasure. Is that because I put it back in his inventory? I don't know. Kind of feels cheaty, but whatever. Okay, and everyone's come over as well. Yay. Ooh, these guys instantly go in and chat in. Okay, okay, okay. I'm like outcast, like, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm desperate for something to happen, but I'm also desperate to not force it and let it be like au natural. So I'm just keeping an eye. I am just keeping an eye. Oh, 
And look, they're already having a chit chat out here together. Oh my gosh, I can see these guys being good friends and I'm so totally there for it. He's such a little mini Yona. I don't know why he's sad. Maybe he's sad because he feels older than him, but not for long. Oh, and also Kai's naked again. <laughs> he's, so, he's like, he's that one with the island in nature, isn't he? Wow, these guys, these guys have been very close, very close. She's meant to be cooking the cake. Braylon having a chit chat with Seiji. This, that music is so freaking loud. Let's just switch it to medium because it's actually drowning my ears out right now. Showing Bray, who's in a flirty mood, but we're showing him some pictures of uh, little Kai, which I thought was cute. These guys have a nice friendship, so. I like when they have a chit chat and a catch up together. Although he's flirty, so I'm also like, just be careful. And baby's just naked on the floor. Great. Oh, and you just tidy him. I like it when Sims autonomously do cute stuff. It makes me happy. They're made friendos here as well, so that's nice. Oh, and the cake is done. Add some birthday candles. And then let's get these little candles blown out. We need to uh, help blow out candles. Little Kai, who's still naked. Birthday time. Birthday time. Naked birthday time. Is anyone gonna- Yeah, yeah, I was like, is anyone gonna even notice? But they totally are. Yay! Happy, happy people oh, wow. watching, singing along. Ooh, Yay. not bad effort on the cake, cake there, Ari. Oh, okay! <laughs> Interesting look. Okay, the fact that the blur is so high as well makes me think Kai has just grown up into a girl. Okay, uh, he had the wild trait as a toddler, so I think... I think... I know I gave Kenai motor as well, but I think it kind of works with wild, doesn't it? And then I'm just gonna randomize and see which one makes sense. Dog love is kind of cute. Self-assured. Is there any that kind of relate to like wild? Naturally thick, naturally thin. It's done self-assured twice, so I think I'm gonna stick with that one. And it's given him a few of these as well, which is really cool, including good uh, social and good motor. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and take him into cars. Uh, let's give him some skin details. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put back on the same, oh man. I'm gonna put on the same hair that he had and skin details. I know he had this one. Okay, so it looks more like Kai straight away. And let's give him some eyelashes. He's got little freckles, which I'm guessing is from Sage, so that totally makes sense. Let's find the hair that he had as a kid. Oh my gosh, imagine with a little Makoa mohawk. If I could get this in Alpha, he would have this. Like, no questions asked, he would have that hair. Although apparently I can't change the color of it. Interesting. I could grow his hair out a bit. Oh my gosh, he's so adorable. His eyes are looking very big though. I don't want another generation of glitchily big eyes. So if he ages up into an adult with eyes bigger than the earth, I may have to intervene. Oh, there it is. I'm so blind. There we go. Okay, I'll keep his hair like this for now. But honestly, I kind of want to grow it out a little bit over time. But it's cute for now. He's actually super adorable. <laughs> I knew he would be. Man, he looks so cheeky. I feel like him and Kenai are gonna get into all kinds of mischief. I mean, he did spend so much of like his youth half naked that I feel like this kind of suits him, you know? It actually does. Plus it's like, um, I know to, to be fair, Makoa doesn't really dress that way, but I think it's important to know your heritage and where you're from. Okay, so I've kind of gone for a lot of islandy clothes for him. With some of them, it's hard to find a top that matches. So I've had to like, I don't know, make stuff up. Um, so I've given him this little necklace of everything. And then this is his formal outfit. His athletic, his uh, sleepy wear, his uh, party wear, his swimwear. Obviously I had to do it to him. I had to give him the Mokoa mask, you know I did. His hot weather and his cold weather. As you can see, there's a lot of like the sarongi kind of like traditional island dress. I think if he goes to see Kenai, ki kids in Kenai school probably aren't gonna understand, let's face it. Kina goes to game school as Koda. Like, ho their kids are horrible. Um, but because he's a self-assured sim, I think if like they, anyone tries to like wrongly take like the mick out of him for wearing sarong style skirts as a boy, I just don't think he's gonna care. He's gonna be like, so what? It's just an item of clothing. Like, it's my heritage. Like, what, you, what point are you trying to make here? And I already kind of love him for that. So let me know what you guys think of him. And I did remember I said I was going to change Ari's hair. Um, I'm thinking kind of like a mid-length sort of style on her. Although I then went ahead and put this style on. And I'm like, I don't know if you can see the details very much, but look how cool this hair is. I like that a lot. I think that really suits her as well. It balances out her face quite well. Although there's something about wavy-haired Ari that actually I love too. Wavy-haired with fringe? I don't know, maybe. Oh, man. 
she kind of suits everything, so now I'm not so sure. Oh, and I kind of like this one on her. Let me know which one you guys like the most in the comments below. Like, this one's pretty cool as well. But I think for now, for now I will do this mid-length one like I said but if you guys want ah. me to change let me know in the comments okay it looks super cute though I kind of like it with all the outfits I think it's really nice <laughs> I love that the first thing he does instantly is like yes I must put my goggles on and swim out to the lilos is that Kenai there as well oh my gosh why don't you guys you guys can like play on the lilos and stuff together and just be real adorable oh 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 I just came back and there was a love heart I don't know what they said to do love hearts these guys are chatting in here Ari is like, yeah, I need my hydration. She doing some mermaiding. And just as I thought, these two are absolutely adorable together. Like, so freaking cute. And also, to say that they've got completely different heritages, they definitely have, like, a little bit of a look of each other, I would say. Like, are they? I don't know how closely related they are, but they definitely look pretty similar to each other. Yuda's just kind of getting away from it all. He's so cute. So cuteness. Just cuteness everywhere. And I need to do more love hearts. More love hearts. Willow, Willow, be careful. You're right in the middle of everything here. I need to do up little uh, Kai's room so that he has a proper, like, kid's room as well. But he can dance at his birthday party. It is his birthday party, so he can dance for a little bit longer if he wants. Also, can we just appreciate the fact that Bray has stayed till the very end? He's popping up in like all my other series at the moment, which is kind of wholesome. <gasps> What's going on here? What's going on here? I'm keeping such a close eye on them. They're joking about politicians at the moment, which is like the most conservationist banter I've ever heard. He's like talking about beds. Is he saying he's tired? I'm gonna, because he talked about the bed thing, I'm gonna be like, is my ass to stay the night is actually a friendly interaction. It's not a romantic interaction, but I'm gonna say like he's free to stay over if he wants to. I know it does a love heart thing, but look, it won't actually add love hearts between them because it's a friendly interaction in my game. I did want to tell an unbelievable story, which I can totally make her do. <laughs> Woohoo is literally, literally right there. However, Kai's sleeping in your bed, so not, not a good idea. Oh, and everyone's heading off. Everyone's saying goodbye. Blew another heart! He blew another heart. Be blown a kiss. I'm asking people to leave because I'm like, it's 1 a.m. Let's wrap the party up. Stop eating birthday cake. Skedaddle, please. Oh, <gasps> he blew another kiss. Okay, okay, okay. They're still not in the flirty mood. Oh my gosh, but he's blowing kisses left, right, and center. My Sims love a good kiss blow. They absolutely love a good kiss blow. She's well, getting sleepy thing. though. Her needs degrade For faster than their sure, relationship moves right now. Me? That is literally the conundrum I'm finding myself in. And her needs are so garbage. I'm not gonna push it. I think them taking it slow is a good thing. And I'm gonna just leave them to it, okay? I'm just gonna leave them to it. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Please let me know what you think about Kai's appearance. Yeah, he doesn't actually have blonde hair. That's just my game bugging out. Although he kind of suits it at the same time. These guys are still taking things incredibly, incredibly slow. Which... It's cute, but it's starting to get to the point of frustration. I would say it's definitely starting to get to the point of frustration. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode all the same. And I'll see you guys in another one. Bye! <laughs>